here with our forecast is the rain going to hold off for them tonight? Well, we're crossing our fingers here that we've got all these showers and storms that have been bubbling up this afternoon. Most of these will be fizzling out by 9 p.m. There could be one or two that linger around a little bit longer than that. And you see this heavier downpour right now that's approaching Homewood. That might be an impact for uh, Oak Mountain State Park a little bit later on. But some heavier rain in some pockets. Others are dry and hot. As we head through this evening, that rain does taper off. I've got the rain chance at 20% tonight. That would be for basically midnight and before. Most of us see the rain end, though, by 9 p.m., and fog develops overnight. It'll be muggy with lows dipping down into the 70s. Tomorrow, temperatures climbing back up into the low 90s again, particularly in spots where we don't get those thunderstorms to develop, at least not until after 4 p.m. We'll go to the future cast here. So as we head to 8 p.m. this evening, you can see, look, there you go, right there, pretty close to Oak Mountain. That'll be actually a little bit closer to Chelsea side, uh, but perhaps an isolated downpour lingering. Around, but we should be able to get those fireworks shows in. I can't rule out a delay though. Tomorrow, some downpours likely, particularly as we head into the afternoon hours. So, as you're planning your day, be prepared if you've got an outdoor activity, particularly before 9 p.m., between, say, 11 a.m. and 9 p.m., just have a backup to bring things indoors if necessary. If you don't see the rain, it's going to be hot. Note again, 8 p.m., still some scattered thunderstorms showing up on the future cast, those fizzling out, uh, according to this model, by 10 o'clock. For those who don't see rain, it's going to be hot and humid. That heat exhaustion potential getting into that highest risk category as we head into mid afternoon. Just a reminder as the kids are running around outside, maybe you're standing over a hot grill, don't overexert yourself tomorrow. Make sure you stay hydrated and take breaks in the air conditioning when possible. For fireworks shows tomorrow night, that isolated downpour, not out of the question. Temperatures hovering in the upper 70s and low 80s at fireworks time for Independence Day. And the heat sticking with us, upper level high pressure sticking around through midweek. This starts to drift back to our west some as we head towards the end of the week. That will open up some rain chances, or at least some higher rain chances for us as we head towards the end of the week. For the opening ceremony for the World Games, isolated downpour possible. Temperatures in the 80s for that feeling, more like the 90s. Heat index approaching triple digits as we head through this week. Week. We will have rain in the forecast as well over the next several days. Isolated showers and storms likely at times. Be prepared for that. Off and on showers and storms, some of which can produce heavy rain, heat, and humidity. The big story over the next several days. You can catch our forecast anytime on Talk 99.5 and Hot 107.7. Jen.